Hey guys and welcome to this video, today I want to show you the motion trails effect. This effect gets used in a lot of music videos and now I want to show you how to recreate this effect. So first of all you have to cut out a clip on which you want to apply this effect. So this is my clip. Then go to the beginning of your clip, press I for in and go to the end of your clip and press O for out. Now go into the export page and export your clip. Then go to Google Chrome and open runwayml.com. This site is perfect for rotoscoping for free, but if you have enough money, you can also use the magic mask inside of the Vichy Resolve. Okay, now press this button right here and select the remove background option. All right, now you have to import your clip. Drag and drop the clip down here and start masking. For this, you just have to select your person with green dots. Then go one frame to the right with the right arrow button and check if the mask fits. And now you can see something wrong has been masked out and now we hit the exclude button and we select the wrong parts. Okay, now repeat this procedure till the end of the clip. If you are done with your clip, then go to export, name your clip and hit the export mask button. Then go to export and download your rotoscoped clip. Now we are back in DaVinci Resolve and we import our clip into the timeline. Then select your clip and go into the fusion page. Press shift and spacebar at the same time and search for delta key. Here. Select delta key here and press add. Now left click the background color field. Then you have to go to pick screen color and select the green screen color. Alright, now hit the ok button. And again press shift and spacebar at the same time and search for trails. Select trails and press add. Now go into the inspector of the trails node and increase the pre-roll frames to 3. Also, decrease the gain to 0.9. And now go down here and increase the blur size to 2.5. Then make sure that you are at frame 0 and hit the restart button. And as you can see the trails effect is done. If you want, you can also change the position of the trails by changing the X and Y offset values. Or you can change the scale of your trails effect, which looks kinda dope actually. Okay, that's it for this effect. I hope this video has helped you, if so then leave a like or a sub to my channel and also make sure to check out my ref links in the description to get some nice effects and transitions. Okay and thanks for your attention and your feedback, stay creative and bye.